West Texas is such a well-kept secret. You know, it, it's just out here, you, it's quiet. And of course, the West is still alive. And, you know, here, a handshake is still, still okay. It's hours before dawn during roundup time way out on the CM Ranch in West Texas. Jerry Baird's gonna have a small crowd to feed before the CM Cowboys saddle up and start working the herd. Now, even though the ranch boss built a fancy eating shed, Jerry just couldn't give up his 100-year-old kitchen on wheels. Some things, Jerry says, well, if they ain't broke, don't need fixing. You gotta get up about four o'clock in the morning. Of course, you gotta get your fires going, get the coffee going, that's the most important thing. And then you start working on breakfast and uh, generally you'll do, you know, either bacon or ham or eggs and gravy and biscuits and this kind of stuff. Hey, good morning. How are y'all this morning? Pretty good. I tell you, when you get a bunch of cowboys coming in for breakfast, it takes a, a lot of food to fill them up. Jerry's chuck wagon is the gathering spot for the CM Ranch crew. On this morning, it's as if the Old West is waking up after a century-long slumber. But this is no show. It's just the way it's always been done around here. Jerry always knows where everything is kept in this cluttered kitchen. And in that clutter is a bottled concoction that Jerry swears by and his cowboy customers have come to love. You can put a thousand things on the wagon from knives to skillets to baking powder and everything else. But if I don't have my uh, Jerry Baird seasoning on there, I'm just not gonna load up and go. It's his secret name brand bottled blend. And Roundup just wouldn't be the same anymore in these parts without Jerry's seasonings. After the skillet's scraped clean and the pot's empty, the rising sun calls all cowboys to the far pasture. And that gives Jerry Baird a chance to experiment with different tastes of West Texas. When the cowboys leave, they're gone for quite a few hours. Of course, you always got to start the beans and get other stuff cooking. But you have a little downtime, and that's when I have time to think and, and think about how people eat and, and what I could put together that would make their food taste just a little bit better. So Wagon and I spent right at 30 years together. It's kind of become my, my laboratory, my, my kitchen. At first, Jerry kept his seasoning secret, but that didn't last long. Now this chuck wagon cook's got a whole line of pasture peppers and saddle salts. People, uh, they buy it, they give it to somebody, and then those people call and they want it for somebody else. And, and it's, it's uh, you know, I'm sending it now all over the, the country. I've got an all-purpose seasoning, which you can use on anything. Then I have a brisket rub, which is wonderful on pork chops. I have a jalapeno sizzling salt. Then I have a, a lemon pepper with butter, which this one, it's just absolutely awesome on fish and pork as well. The uh, fajita seasoning that I've come up with is totally different because I added mesquite flavor to it. And you can also use it on steaks as well, you know, if you want that mesquite flavor. As the roundup on the CM continues, Jerry keeps busy for the next wave of hungry, tired, dusty, saddle-worn cowboys cooking in the shadow of history, seasoned with a pinch of the past. Sometimes I wish I was saddling up and riding instead of 
that are cooking. But uh, oh, I ask myself sometimes how long I'll do it. You know, I'm I'm at the point now where I certainly don't buy any green bananas anymore. You know, or, or an unbroke horse. But as long as I got a bunch of old greasy-bellied cowboys showing up around this wagon, I imagine I'll keep trying to do it. <laughs>